Hey, Husker fans, Sam McEwen with the Omaha World Herald. Big Red today and Omaha.com. The vibe on offense today seemed pretty darn good. Offensive coordinator Matt Lubick, the offensive line coach Greg Austin, and tight ends coach Sean Becton talked. So did a few players, mostly on the offensive line, and receiver Xavier Betts. I think that might be one of the first times that we've spoken to him. We'll start there. Betts is probably the most gifted and talented player on the offense, and I'm not kidding. If you ask other players who's the guy with the most potential, they'll tell you Betts, and I think Betts is starting to understand that. He said he's starting to understand it based on conversations he's had this summer with his teammates and with his dad after a spring that he said wasn't his best. Uh, he just wasn't at, at his A game in the spring and didn't do as well as he could, and he feels like that mindset and his framework has changed. He is doing something different. He knows the offense better. He knows what he's supposed to do on the field and how fast he he can play in order to do it. And now he just wants to learn how to use his size a little bit better against smaller defensive backs. The newsy stuff of the day was probably the running backs. Marquis Stepp, the USC transfer who missed almost all of spring with an injured foot, uh, has been in practice. And according to offensive coordinator Matt Lubick, he is good to go. Uh, he has been ready to roll. He has been ahead of where they thought he would be. And so when Nebraska puts on the pads tomorrow, it looks like he's going to practice. Nebraska's been in compression shorts and shoulder pads up until now. If Steph's able to practice, hey, that's really good news for Nebraska because the guy that they wanted to come in here and sort of take that number one job was Marquis Steph. That's why they brought him in here, uh, was to kind of be that veteran guy until one of these freshmen, maybe Gabe Irvin, maybe Sevion Morrison, uh, who Matt Lubick had some nice things to say about today, are able to kind of step into the role. I mean, those guys are going to be stepping onto a field for the first time in a collegiate setting when they go out to Illinois. And so it would be hard to expect either Irvin or Morrison or somebody else to necessarily seize that moment, as well as a guy like Marquis Stepp, who had a lot of experience at USC and effectively left because they changed their offensive style into sort of a, a run and shoot Texas Tech air raid style. He wanted to be more of a running back, and so he came to Nebraska. And so if Stepp is healthy, and Lubick seemed to indicate that he was, that's really good news for Nebraska. They feel really, really good about that. I asked a bunch of questions about red zone office, offense today. You're going to see more in the World Herald about that. The bottom line is they've moved up the installation for both red zone and short yardage because Coach Scott Frost wants to emphasize that in camp. Normally they wait until later in camp to get those things done, but this is a relatively veteran team, so they can get to some of the bells and whistles a little earlier. Beyond that, Nebraska has not been good in the red zone. Let's be honest about that. They've been average at best, and when they're throwing the football, they've been below average. And so those are things that they all want to improve. One thing that Becton mentioned is they've got to use those tight ends, the Giants. Austin Allen and Travis Folk like more often. Today, there were four NFL scouts at practice that we were able to see, and they were around the tight ends, and that makes sense. Allen is huge, and so is Vokalek. The other guys in the room, while they look impressive, A.J. Rollins, Chris Hickman, they don't look like Allen and Vokalek do at this moment. Those are grown men who are essentially fifth-year juniors, and they might be two of the most important players on the offense. Well, we'll hear from Frost later this week, but. The general vibe uh, coming out of the first two media periods that we had on uh, Monday and Wednesday, pretty strong. I think the offensive coaches today felt pretty darn good about where they're at. That's important because Nebraska's offense was pretty darn bad at times last season. And so if they feel like they can get to a place where they're just decent or they're, they're getting closer to where they want to be on offense, you couple that with a defense that feels pretty good about where they're at and is experienced and seasoned and tough, and you might have the kind of Nebraska team this year that people have been waiting for. We'll see. We'll see. They're relatively injury-free at this point. Nobody really hurt. Randolph Kapai was a little banged up, but, but that was about it. Um, he was out of practice, but there wasn't a lot of guys out. Thomas Fedoni's still out. But generally speaking, the vibe, the mood, pretty good right now at Nebraska. We'll be back on Friday with the Omaha World Herald. Big Red Today on Omaha.com. I'm Sam McEwen. Thanks.